all of the album we recorded with the with the same guy that we did uh, through mystery with. His name is uh, Carlos Stamonis, and uh, he's he's a he's a great dude. He's a, he's one of the best here, and we have uh, built a great. A connection and a relationship with him and he he knows us and uh, we know him <laughs> wow. I had a opportunity to record drums in uh, sound division I actually uh, was the only guy that um, recorded in a different place because it's uh, for acoustic drums. It's uh, really important. The how big is the the room where you play? No, the way the Actually, the process was two days for me. And it was uh, the first day was uh, just packing. Uh, at the first day, I was like so so tired of all the packing that I actually couldn't play with my full power. So at uh, the second day, I played another time songs. When Chris left the band, it was pretty rough few months, to be honest. But I think deep down, all of us, the three of us, knew that, uh, that, uh, that that something wasn't right anymore. I mean, with Chris and how he felt the last months when he was playing. But uh, of course, he was one of the founding members of the band and had a, such a big, uh, big influence over the band and, and the vision of the band. So it was, it was, quite, it was quite rough. But uh, somehow, somehow I knew that, that it's gonna be fine, and we're gonna find someone else, and and that's that's when Gun came. Uh, so, uh, uh, big thanks for Chris for everything he's done with the band, for all of the for all of the years he was in it. Basically, at first uh, I already jumped in to the recording process when I joined the band. It was, a, it was a, a, a little bit of a struggle, to be honest, at first, because uh, the previous member, Chris Flint, uh, just had left and he had been such a long-term bass player for this band like the first one and uh, for me to just jump in and start to uh, build a relationship with uh, these guys is, is just uh, a struggle at the beginning but we I think we managed everything very well The recording of the guitars was a uh, couple weeks, I think, in like autumn and winter time in Yalgava, in uh, Kai's studio. And uh, it was a long process we went through and kind of similar to the previous album, but uh, parts were a lot more uh, difficult, of course, and more interesting. And the overall sound uh, of the guitars, I think, were pretty awesome at the end. The solos I tried to push to the next level too, and hopefully I achieved it. Well, I think I did. We 
went into the studio, I thought that it's going to be a lot faster, especially because we recorded through mystery so long, and and it took took a took a really long time for us to do that. The recording of of my vocal, I actually did it by myself and with the producer most of the times. Because actually, I'm kind of shy even from my band to 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 sing in front. I'm always pushing myself to the limit. So maybe the sound guy, uh, the producer, maybe at some points he was like, "Can you can you please stop? It's okay." And I was like, "Nah, I want I want to try one more time." I wouldn't say it was easier than the previous album. Of course, I've grown vocally. I would like I would like to think so. But uh, I tried a bunch of new stuff that I haven't done before. The song that I struggle the most with was actually uh, Black Swan or Criminal Masterminds. And I wanted to really push them, push myself to the limit. And the mixing and mastering we did with uh, Janis Narbuts in White Wide Recording Studios in like April and May. For the mix and master, well, that was like the 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 roughest part actually about the album and why it took so long to finish it because we really wanted to like uh, polish the album as much as we can. The album was mixed by Carlos and Giannis, so uh, they they both did a stellar job, and thanks to those two dudes. All of the recording it wasn't all serious all of the time. We're we're pretty stupid at times, and and we laugh a lot, and we get you know pretty <coughs> interesting at times. So it's always fun, and it's you know that's that's our happy place, you know, to record music and and to play live. Yeah, come on. Come on, no other film. Funniest thing to record is the gang vocals and the back vocals in general. Usually we just mess around and, and it takes a lot of time for us, you know, to get serious, to record the back vocals. Fire! <laughs> Together! I'm really satisfied, to be honest, because I've never felt such a, such a big bond with music. And I'm really excited about all of the new stuff, and I love every song. And and with every song, I have a special connection. We're really stoked that this album is going to come out via Frontiers Records, which was uh, actually one of our like biggest goals to achieve. Because uh, obviously, Frontiers are nowadays one of the the biggest hard rock or like rock labels in the world. So we're stoked about that and and be working with them. The future at this point, it, it, it doesn't matter that much because I mean, th these years were so freaking amazing. And I think that next year's will be gonna be like, uh, if, if that happened for the last couple of years, wh what will happen the next? It, it's, gonna be, uh, it's gonna be crazy. We are better players, better singers, better, uh, better in everything, so. Uh, I'm really stoked about the album. I think it's going to be raw. I think it's going to be heavy, but it's still going to be melodic and with all those big choruses and, and the essence of what Bloody Heels is and will be. Yeah.